Running on a hamster wheel But searching for something I can't feel I just wanna Alicia Nicole if you guys are new in today's video we'll be showing you this beautiful sultry fall look so if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look definitely keep on watching also if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps me out so let's just go ahead and get right into this makeup tutorial and for primer today of course we're going to go in with the Tatcha silk canvas primer just going to add a little bit on my face and then rub it in. And with this product, I do focus it on all, all over my face, but mainly on my T-zone area. Cause that's where I do tend to see a little bit more creasing with my foundation. So for eyebrows, of course, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Bit Brow Pomade. And this is in the color dark brown and then i just use a um, brush that i got from the hair store um just any brush a good angle brush with a spoolie on the end we'll get the job done So to clean up my eyebrows, I'm just going to be using the um, Fenty Beauty Concealer, and this is in the color 330. So I'm just going to take that same concealer, and I'm just going to prime my eyelids with this. And so the palette that I'm going to be using on my eyes today is the new Jaclyn Hill palette. It's not new, but it's the newest one, the Value 2 palette. I've never used this palette before. I got it over almost a year ago. And I'm just now getting to using this. I know that's sad, but yeah, I just moved. Well, I moved a year ago and I packed all my makeup up. If you watched my vlog. Um, I just found this box and all my palettes were in there, so I'm going to be using this palette today. So I think I'm going to go with a nice smoky eye today. So for my transition color, I'm going to be using, which one? Oh, I think I'm going to go in with the G Money right here as my transition color. And this is very pigmented. I can just see by how good it's picking up on the brush. Like, look at that. So there's no brown in this palette. Um, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the black, but I'm gonna do it very, very, no, 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 no. So I'm gonna go into another palette because I need a brown. So since that palette didn't have a brown in it, I'm just gonna go into this Amreezy palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills, their collab, and I'm gonna go in with the shade 1988, which is right there. I'm just gonna put that slightly under that other shade just so it can give it a nice gradient and a blend out. So now I'm gonna go in with an even deeper brown and I'm gonna use this color right here. I think it's pronounced Yugo, Yugo, something like that, but it's this color right here. So that's pretty much what the eyes are looking like. So for foundation today, 
I'm just going to go with my NARS foundation and this is in the color Cadiz. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that on. Y'all, please excuse my hair if it's crusty. I patted on Saturday. This will be two weeks that I have this hair in my hair. And with the half up, half down styles, um, it does tend to mess up just a little bit around the edges because you guys know, like, you gotta um, put gel and stuff on your hair and it starts to get a little crusty. So that's the phase that it's going into. Um, but I am gonna take this out. The hair is still holding up good. It's the IC hair. I just kind of wet it every morning and put product on it. So the product I usually use is the Curly Curl Cream. Um, or I just use some My L Organics um, Hawaiian Ginger The Gel Souffle or whatever it's called on my hair in the morning. And that tends to work. So yeah, if you are interested in purchasing this hair, you can check out the link in my bio. This video is not sponsored by them. I just genuinely like their hair. I did purchase this with my own money. So let's get that clear. <laughs> so foundation is on. It looks really, really good. I love the NARS foundation. So so for concealer, um, I'm gonna mix two. So first I put on the Fenty Beauty um, concealer and this is in 330. And then of course the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just to brighten that up a little bit more. And that is in the color medium. I'm just gonna take my Morphe Beauty Blender and blend that out. Taking the Laura Mercy Air Translucent Powder, we are just going to go ahead and bake under these eyes. And then just set everywhere that we put that concealer as well. So going in with the Morphe Bronzer, this is in Trailblazer. We're just gonna add more color back into the face. You guys know the drill if you've been watching these videos. This is my favorite bronzer. You guys, I love it. It's like the perfect match of my skin tone and it just blends out so well. So if you haven't tried this, you guys should definitely try out the Morphe Bronzer because it is very affordable. Um, than most of your high-end brands. So I would definitely try this one out if you guys really, really need a good bronzer. I would pick this one. And in my last video, I did, I was watching the footage when I was editing and I realized that I had forgot to contour my nose. So now I'm gonna definitely make sure I do that. I think Morphe has a great um, shade range with this as well. I also have a highlight and contour palette from them. And um, it has like four different concealer, I mean four different bronzers in it. Um, so that's good as well. I used to use the color donut all the time, but I really like the trailblazer now. So <laughs> I kind of, I'm kind of steering towards that now. So now I'm just carving out my cheeks. I'm running out of, the, out of this Laura Mercier translucent powder. So yes, like that. And then of course, I'm about to figure it again to contour my nose. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So 
So while this is setting, you guys know I've been using these 25mm lashes from Amazon. Of course, I will have them in the description box if you guys want to check them out. But I'm going to go ahead and do a, um, not a cat wing, but I'm just going to tight line my lashes and put a little bit of um, this liquid mascara on my um, lashes. I'm not going to do a wing. I'm just going to do, just line them. And I do want to make it pretty thick, not too thick, but so where it can blend in with these lashes. So like that. And then I'm just going to use the NYX eyeliner pencil and then just tight line my bottom lash line. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these lashes on real quick. So eyelashes are on. So now I'm just gonna take this Fit Me uh, Maybelline Fit Me Pro Matte Powder, and we are just going to wipe all of this powder off my face. I love this stuff. It just ties everything together. So I'm not going to put any blush on with this look. All I'm going to do is go into some highlighter and we're going to take it back today because I really want to use this um, Carly Bible palette and this bronzer that I used to love <laughs> right here. This one right here in the palette. I'm just going to put that on today. And so for lips, I kind of want to do a dark lip, but not too dark, like a dark brown type of lip. So I'm just going to go in with this LA Colors. Um, this is an eyeliner, but I'm just going to use this as a lip pencil. And it is in the color dark brown. And I'm just going to line my lips with this. So like that, and then I'm just gonna take this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the color Dubai. Okay, so that is done. Now I'm gonna go on top of that with the Morphe and Madison Beer Collection, and then this is the um, color Mars. And last but not least, of course, with the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, we're just going to give our face a good mist. So this is how the makeup look turned out. I think it turned out amazing. This is definitely a great sultry fall look for you guys to try this fall. Thank you guys so much for the support that you guys have been showing on my channel and the last couple of videos that I have posted. Also, if you guys are interested in all the makeup that I use in this video, please check out the description box below because it will have the direct link to that product in the description box below. Make sure you guys follow me on all my social medias at Alicia Nicole. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye, guys. Make eye contact with clouds.